Recently, Lawler and I ran the qualifiers for the Apex featuring Rocket League, which is a LAN event happening at my house in just under two weeks. And the qualifier format was unique because it was three training packs released over the weekend, and fastest completion across all three days qualified as the final player coming to the $10,000 prize pool event. Kevin ultimately took the qualifier spot, but Donsku was quite close behind him. I thought I'd show a little sneak peek of the event space before we watched two of the fastest players from the qualifier, and show just how close these runs truly were. I also invited Chief Beef to join me and react to Kevin and Donsku, because Beef is one of the players coming to the event, and he also gave the training packs a try himself on stream. He got just under 10 minutes on each pack. These two got just under 10 minutes on all three combined. That is how insane they are. It is incredible just how optimized they got their runs during the qualifiers. And speaking of the qualifiers, huge thanks to Thrustmaster for making them possible, and for sponsoring today's video. Thrustmaster's latest heart controller completely eliminates the issue of stick drift, which if you've played a lot of Rocket League, you've probably dealt with it at some point or another. Thanks to 15 years of expertise in Hall Effect technology, the sticks on the heart controller have precision that's measured without mechanical friction, eliminating drift completely. And they also track movement within 0.01 degrees for maximum accuracy. So if you're looking for a new controller to take your Rocket League skills to the next level, and also avoid ever dealing with pesky stick drift, I highly recommend picking up a heart controller today. I'm also very honored to have Thrustmaster as a main event sponsor for the Apex featuring Rocket League. The LAN is right around the corner, and it features some of the community's favorite creators and pros. The event is happening from the 6th to 8th, so make sure you don't miss out on it. I'm also super thankful that Thrustmaster is generously gifting a heart controller and a set of SH5 sticks to all of the players of the LAN. We're really trying to make this the most unique Rocket League LAN event ever, and your support by watching helps make future community LANs like this possible. But in the meantime, click my link in the description and step your game up today with Thrustmaster. And make sure to use code Lethemir at checkout. Huge thanks again to Thrustmaster for sponsoring today's video, but now let's get into the runs. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so Don Scoo Qualifier Pack 1. Go. Alright. So you've tried these. You know what's going on here, but uh, this is some of the fastest completions of training packs I've ever seen. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the toughest shots for me were the ones that were like halfway inside of the post. That yeah. first shot, he just, okay. It's just... It was first oh, try. He, he missed that one. Like, it's crazy. He like, missed a couple. I know. He missed it a couple times, but it's such a little time waste that he still goes. And do you notice he also goes backwards in the uh, the, the setup here? He goes from shot oh. one, which was a requirement, uh, but he does the last couple because some of them are more difficult. Um, That's an insane strat. Yeah. he and I, I Just the way he catches every... I mean, you've tried these. You know it, it's deceptively yes. more difficult than it appears, but it's just oh, crazy how it... It, so quick. it appears pretty difficult as well. It's uh, <laughs> I'm sure the people watching, if they gave it a shot, like the shots are tough, man. And the fact that he's just knocking these suckers out first try every time is just wild. Nailing it. Yeah. Like <laughs> there it goes again. I just saw you trying that one today. <laughs> just quick, instant. Look at that. Boom. And, and, and this people, isn't even the guy that won. No, no. Like, and that's the crazy thing is that, like, yes, this one was very close. I think Kevin ended up getting a 210. This guy has a 218 or something. Yeah. Uh, or 212. I can't remember exactly the time. Actually, it says it right down there. 218. So an eight second difference. You can see where like maybe Kevin could have picked up those eight seconds just from a couple sure. of mistakes. And no but one given only one day to run through these packs. It's tough to get like that perfect run, right? Yeah. You must be relieved you didn't have to do this to to make it, huh? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for taking I up the spot for, for Mercy. I know. Yeah, you did try it. Um, we really appreciate you in, in like very record time saying yes so appreciate it yeah it was a it's a really cool opportunity it obviously unfortunate that mercy wasn't able to make it and that's kind of allowed me to have the spot but i'm excited to be here and it should be a really really fun time if, if we're being honest we would have loved for you to watch party um sure. but uh but uh, obviously it, it, we're even happier that you're coming so uh but this is mm -hmm. like kind of the last two shots here i mean that it, it's so much happening at once that it it's hard to um realize it's only two minutes <laughs> i feel yes, like it's like there's the pack done and that's there it, it is that's it he's already done it's crazy <laughs> all right so let's move on to kevin here so just go back you press back here until you go to yep. kevin perfect so this one was eight seconds faster than yep. donsky's run so already on day one kevin had a pretty big advantage he did not win day one because i think coke hun which i don't you probably recognize that name he's like a i think european player um mm he's -hmm. like a pro player he won by a couple milliseconds uh, or not a couple. Okay. Like, yeah, a, a little bit. Like, but I don't think Koken had as strong of a run in the, the last two. Yeah, and the the qualifier <laughs> is based on all of them together. He almost missed that one. He did. Well, that's, that's we wanted it to be something like where you have to be consistently fast, because like anyone, and I'm, I'm not saying anybody, but like you could have like a fluke, very good run, and you know you're going up against the chief. 
beef meister, you know? Like we have to have people yeah, who are yeah. who can compete. So we wanted to make sure that the player who was coming could like handle like pro players and high level content creators. So I think it was important. Yeah, of course. Really, really big competition, uh, specifically myself. Oh, exactly. I mean, for sure. I mean, I know you're joking about that, but like you have been like top 100 quite often. So I, mm -hmm. and I think you have like really solid, consistent gameplay. And that's something that will be very valuable in custom maps. I don't think yes. you're, you've not played too many custom maps. I know you've done some like of those training ones and stuff, but there's some yeah, yeah, wild done... shapes. Yeah, I haven't done anything too, too crazy. I did that uh, Progressive Island. Yeah, yeah, recently. yeah I love that. that. I mean, the fact that you did the uh, Easter egg, too, with the balls, like, that's a lot of skill. Uh -huh. That takes a lot of skill. I, I don't think a lot of people <laughs> can do that. Like, it's it's tough. So, I mean, no, well, it's it, crazy how fast this is going through, by the way. It is. And so when I was trying them, I pretty early found out, like, I thought it would have been an advantage if I used the Dominus, both for like the extra bit of reach yes. and maybe faster flicks, but mm -hmm. the, neither of these players are using the Dominus. Yeah, it's actually funny you say that because uh, most of the other runs, like I think Coke Hun might have been on Dominus. Most of them did, mm -hmm. uh, but Dongsku and Kevin were the two players that stayed consistently. Oh, <laughs> bang. It's crazy too. This is like, such, an this easy is shot such too. a fast run still. Yes. Um, like 212. But he could have probably, like, I think a sub two is theoretically maybe possible. Oh, which, yeah. Which is I insane. Think, I totally think so. Since there was only, like, a day to run it, I think yeah. you use the Dominus and you, like, have a perfect run, I, I think you can definitely get underneath Yeah, it. these are actually on speedrunning.com or speedrun.com still. So we're hoping that, like, maybe by the LAN event we can see, like, if there's anybody who's gone and taken the time mm -hmm. to, like, beat the world records on these and see what we come to. I think we've, like, got some theoretical numbers of, like, what the closest is, but... That's pack one. Yeah, like a sum of best type thing. Yeah, pack one. We didn't really know yet in pack one who was going to be in contention, but day two really solidified it. So Dansku actually had first place on this one, 304. Oh, wow. So he had to really snap back, um, but he was obviously still eight seconds behind, so he needed a good lead. And you can see Kevin right mm -hmm. underneath him there is 306. So he's still six seconds behind-ish on the last day or something like that, like four seconds. Three, two, one, go. There it is. Yes, sir. And so how first we timed this... Of, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say the first couple of shots. I was just doing this before I, I started the recording. First couple of shots here are relatively easy. Like, yeah. Compared to the previous ones. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Link Rue likes to troll people. Like, we kind of... Mm -hmm. it, in hindsight, if we were to do this again, we would have, like, probably vetted that first shot a little more. Oh, wow. I think Jordan, like Jordis, um, yeah. she did... I, I, like, I asked if she wanted to try it. She was like, sure. I think she tried the first pillar shot like four or five <laughs> times and then and then rage quit off her stream so i that was just done <laughs> i i think i think having the pillar glitch be the first ever shot of this tournament like qualifier yes. probably wasn't the wisest choice but i, yeah, I mean thing, it that was, thing was annoying yeah it was it, it, it once people got it though it, it made a lot more sense it is a a little bit of luck but there's also some skill involved with like how you do it but this Definitely. one's a little bit higher of a skill ceiling of a pack I think it might have been the the longest completion out of the twenty sure. out, of the, out of all the twenty four hour challenges. Which one do you like what the most? What was your fastest runs throughout all these? Uh, I mean, I've only ran through them once. I did a little like race with flits. I don't actually know the direct time. If you if people go to the video, they would maybe be able to like see how we did for the first time. But our, that was our <laughs> first time both trying the the map itself. Yeah, I I Until, think you got like, sub you ten. Know the, right? Yeah, I was able to get under sub ten. Like my second run, so I'm sure you were somewhere around the close, around close to it. Yeah, I think a lot of it is just like knowing the shots before they happen, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the thing too. I can't really like because I raced him after the packs were released. Like I already saw it through the qualifier, and like he saw them, so we both kind of knew more than like what these guys are dealing with on their first go, sure. and, and what you dealt with. So it's it's hard to know exactly. Oh wow, that's that's actually a setup. Like the way that, that wait is a crazy one. So Waiton made this one. Linkeru made the first pack. Yeah, Waiton set it up so you can just hold, like hold down accelerate and boost, and it'll just do that. But I don't know oh, if it would work really? on. I don't know if it would work on Dominus though. Like that's the one thing. Oh, you're right on that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So I think this made the Octane be the more like optimal strat. For Interesting. This one. Yeah, you're definitely right on that. Because I wonder, it is just the side of the car, and I don't know if the hitboxes are. I don't know if they're like wider at all. That's one thing I actually don't know, is if the hitboxes are just, like, taller 
or longer, but not like wider. I don't think there's any fatter, <laughs> fatter ones. No. Also, what do you think of this shot? That one right there with the a little bit yeah, of paint. Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of like, I'm in awe watching this because like I, it took me a couple tries for each of these ones. And these guys, as the shots being done, they're already thinking like, ah, okay, on the next one, I'm going to go here and then here and then here. So yeah. they're already ready for it. Yeah, it's crazy because this one's like a full, almost a full minute longer of a completion and there's just i think it's also just the sheer size of this field and some of the like pillar bounces take a little more time yeah. uh but it's just like there's so much skill involved with every shot and that's it and that, it's done <laughs> exactly it's just like what just happened i mean you did it you, you know how long it takes like it it's yeah. deceptively difficult so yeah kevin's second place on this one so kevin overall had two second places and a first place in the last one so he was like overall the most consistent and obviously he was re he was rewarded for that um let's let's open that one up all right so here's kevin who i will remind everybody this is the winner um he did not beat donsku in this one but still after this pack was four seconds ahead of donsku yeah that first run definitely set him up solid 100%. Do you know and that's how the long each of these players like grinded these packs for? Was this like a, uh, a 12 I, hour session? I, I know Illuminous, which you've probably seen him in ranked. I know yeah. that day one he put in 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what Kevin did because I think he actually grinded a bit off stream to practice before he went for sure. official runs. Um, It seemed like we wanted to make sure each each pack had 24 hours. So that way there wasn't any like advantage from different time zones. Yep, yep. Um, I think mostly what the EU players did, like Donsku, for example, he would start off at like the qualifier release, like when the pack came out, and then he would mm -hmm. go to bed and then start again in the morning, which I don't know if that's an advantage or disadvantage, uh, but I think Kevin mostly just did it the night before and sure. just finished it off. Uh, I think Kevin, I don't know, he probably put in like a good like four or five, six hours for each one. Yeah, and that's just a crazy thing because like... I mean, obviously, you're not going to stay up for like 72 hours straight playing Rocket That's League, the thing, but... too, is that's that's what we want to make sure is like you have to make sure you don't just fully like what Illuminous did. I think tuckered him out after the first yes. one. Like he had a pretty good yeah. run. I think he was like top five or somewhere close to there. But I think like putting 12 hours in will just tire you out before you can get a consistent second and third run. Yeah, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint, as they say. Exactly, like, it's more exactly. than just a Rocket League challenge. This is like so much of it is the pressure as well like if you know you're having a good run and then you're at the last three shots i felt that just by racing flits for like no money at all or anything like it was yeah. just like for fun and we both like were messing up just because we want to win like and that's part mm -hmm. of it too is just the drive to do better and we wanted to showcase speed running as well in the event we want because like this whole event supposed to be like a sort of a encompassing rocket league event like where it just has yeah. everybody involved I mean, different strats here, too. You see, like, actually pops it out, which this one's a little bit faster. Yeah, he definitely saved a little bit. Before, I think Dan Screw, like, waited for it to wrap all the way around. Yeah, it's funny, too, because they make it look so easy that it's kind of, like, uh, seamless. Like, they just kind of go through it, through the motions, because they've probably been doing this for a couple hours, just every shot's, like, yeah. routine. I love that strat, too. He just doesn't even do the flick. He just goes to the pillar. Mm-hmm. We might try to and get... Like, you're... Uh, Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, at this point, like, we are only seeing their best run. There's probably hundreds, closer to thousands of runs where they just mess up a shot early and then they just restart it after yeah. 10 seconds. Exactly. Like, like you have to you have to go through the whole pack consistently. It's, that's the thing, too. It's 30 shots. It's 90 over the whole thing. It's, it's a lot of... Yeah. Also, just remembering what's coming next is important. And there yep. it is. I mean, that was... And there it is. And it's done. <laughs> so it's... This one was super close. Like, both Donsku and, and Kevin had, like, only two seconds difference. And, yeah. Like, it had to be very, very consistent for them to both be very competitive here for the final for a final pack. Uh, unfortunately, as we move into the third pack, Donsku did not have as close to as good of a run as, as Kevin did. So it wasn't as close. You can see on Qualifier 3, if you move back to the page... Uh, 244 from Kevin, which solidified his first place, and Donsky with a 258. So Donsky would have had to yeah, get a yeah. 240, like a, a sub 240, because he had to be, he was four seconds behind by the start of this one. Um, so he had to do better than Kevin, but also four seconds better than Kevin, <laughs> which is just yeah. like crazy. Yeah, so he's behind currently. 
Oh, whoa. Did you just see what he did? He just skipped like four shots back. He did. Yeah, actually, this was, I think they have different strats a little bit, but there is like, <laughs> there are some really troublesome ones that they focused yes. on first to make sure they had like a solid run. This is just one of them. Just flying through them. This is one of them where it's like, if you get it, you, you're on a good run. Because that one like sometimes doesn't go towards the net. <laughs> Look at the top bar. Yeah. It's like he's skipping five of them at a time. And yeah. it goes back that way. Yeah. And then they go through it. It is a very creative method to make sure they yeah. can be as efficient as possible. Like you don't want to go through the first 15 shots there and get to those difficult ones. Mm -hmm. um, and the then run mess killers. Up. Yeah, the run killers. Exactly. Very different approaches to this one, too. And you can see, you'll see, like, once you see Kevin's run, why he had a much faster run. Also... If you have his reaction live, like when you're watching it, it's it's pretty funny because well, it's, it's actually really, really exciting because he basically asks his friends to deafen uh, him once he gets to like a serious part of the run. And mm. uh, and then he undeafens at the end. And they all freak out because they like kind of knew <laughs> they kind of knew that he was like secure with that run. It was, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it was awesome. This I'm excited to hear that now. I love this. Yes. I love the like creative shots. That one's fun as well. This one's interesting. Yes. Deceptively difficult. Like it's you run oh, into the wall so difficult. many times. And you have to like wait until your car spawns until you drive forwards because your wheels like float for a little bit. Look at that catch. Ooh. Yeah. And so yeah, he's skipping the first <laughs> one because the, the rule was the way that we uh, validated the runs was basically you could try the first shot as many times as you want, but it's the second your car, the frame your car moves for the first time on the successful goal and the final frame is when the you see the completion up there which is like 67 and now it's 70 percent in the top left yeah the second that the screen goes from like 97 to 100 is the final frame so we gotcha. had to we had to have like a very solid start and end for everybody yeah and how did the verification process look do you guys uh, have very, like a team to yeah the speedrun.com guys which is like thunder surge plomato all of them like they were super helpful and like very eager to be part of this and help and super big shout out to them for like manually validating all of the runs. <laughs> yeah, so, that's so sweet. Our production also helped. We we all got like the like admin privileges on speedrun.com to help with like going through the runs. It was a lot of people though. <laughs> yeah, I um, bet. But it's cool. It was cool to sort of get like an eye, like basically like a little bit of a view into this Ooh. like system that they use cuz training packs are like something that's not timed in game, which I've talked with epic a little bit about potentially adding an update where yeah. the timer is in game so it's validated just by it existing in the, it's a self-contained system um, yeah so you don't have to go to speedrun.com yeah and there are still worries about like uh as we finish this pack i'll move over to the other one yeah. um, i'll continue that thought once we get to the other one uh so this is yeah. this is the final run here so we, I, we were in the middle of talking about like the speed running and stuff in game. Um, this yeah. is Kevin's final run that may like solidify him as the uh, the winner here. But um, mm -hmm. it's something like something to do with like the way training packs are that allows us to be a little more secure that there's no TAS because uh, TAS. Oh, that's true. Yeah, TAS doesn't work in training packs, but there's there's obviously ways that people could doctor their runs and stuff. So it's like. A mm -hmm. little scary and hopefully like, I, I trust these players that they didn't cheat. They're very well known people in the scene. But it is yeah. still like a concern of like ours. That's why twenty four hours kind of limits the chance they will do that. Like make a run that looks like one solid run. Sure. And like splice it together splice and all it. that. Yeah, exactly. So that's why streaming was part of the requirement. That's a good point. That's a really good point. And before this event was here, what did like the speed running scene of Rocket League look like. I want to say maybe French fries dribble challenge had some. There was dribble challenge. There's like the progressive tower. There's the Eversax yeah. Olympics. There's like, there's also like the spaghetti racing, which is what um, Simple Shark made. It's got like a hundred checkpoints. Um, spaghetti racing. Yeah, it was featured on an AGDQ, which is another one's happening with uh, like quite soon in January. Uh, but like basically they showcased a couple maps where like some of the fastest player like uh, Blocku, super fast. Donsku has also done some stuff for speedrunning. Um, Thunder mm -hmm. Surge, I think, did some commentating. And so there's a big speedrun speedrunning scene and it's taken very seriously, uh, which is super cool. And uh, it's not as well known as other games because like mostly it's freestyles, like freestylers and stuff. Yes. But there is a Definitely. huge community, like a full discord and everything. Yeah, that's really cool. Speedrunning stuff is it's always been interesting. And 
seeing like there's actually a scene in Rocket League. I feel like this event's kind of showcased it to a, a broader audience. For yeah, sure. the player who won the Immortals Progressive Tower, uh, Delcor, he did. Uh, he didn't have as much time to run through the maps, and he couldn't get as good of a time on the first one. So he kind of backed out of the competition. But that just shows like just how strenuous this is. Like Delcor was able to grind for 30 days, but can you do that same amount of like problem solving and like optimizations within a, a single day? So like basically, I think every hour you can basically equate it to one day of what he did for the island. He had, you had yeah. To, yeah, you had to comp compartmentalize all of your your efforts from one day into one hour <laughs> and obviously you got to go go to bed too so there's not a lot of time yeah, you have to sleep and like do real life stuff right exactly there's so much to it and that's why we wanted as much time as possible we knew some people were gonna over grind it but we didn't we don't want to ever like be the kind of people to I, what's the word recommend like going for like long hours but there it is kevin won and now they're, they're freaking out on <laughs> in the background here but what a run. Oh, I just turned it up, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, they they go crazy. Because I think they knew, like, just based on that run, um, yeah. that he was solid. Because it was so consistent. Like, you're just, it's just so mesmerizing to watch. Yeah, there's, like, not all that much time that could be shaved off on that run. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, um, yeah, after playing them, what like, what do you have? Like, what's your big takeaway from just what you just saw? All those runs? Because I, I know it's just, like, it, you can't really absorb it. It just happens so quickly. Yeah, no, I would say... It is so much more impressive seeing what these people did after you've played it. Like oh, I yeah. I gave it probably like 30 minutes to an hour on each pack, and I was able to do them in three times the time. So my run for one of the packs is their time for all of them. And, and you, got, you got pretty insane. good at doing them, too. Like, it's not like it's, you know, like, that's not a bad time at all. Like, sub 10 is still very impressive. Like, these are very difficult shots. Like, some of them take yeah. a lot of time and... A little bit of luck as well, so it's just a lot of grinding and huge respect to both these players. Unfortunately, we only we can only invite one, so mm -hmm. Kevin did win, but huge shout out to Donsky as well. Thanks for uh, joining for this. It was a lot of fun to uh, watch through this with somebody and react. I actually didn't for see sure. all, I didn't actually see all these runs before, so I got to see a couple new ones there. Um, that was great. That was awesome. Yeah, that was really really fun. I hadn't seen any of these, so yeah, yeah. seeing someone it's, smoke me in every single shot was cool to witness. Thank it's very, you for it's, that very one. it's very humbling. Yeah, it is. It's uh, very humbling. At some point, I do want to try and see how long it would take to grind down to that time because they put in a lot of effort. For sure.